Are you tired of people not understanding you when you speak English? In this video, I'm going to show you a three-step method to improve your English pronunciation and eliminate 80% of common English pronunciation mistakes. I've used this method with thousands of non-native English speakers, and the third tip is what will take your English pronunciation to the next level. First of all, I want you to understand what an accent is. Okay, so you might have an accent while speaking American English because of your native language, okay? So you grow up speaking your mother tongue and you learn the sounds and the rhythm of that language, okay? So all these pathways are being created in your brain based on the phonetics of your mother tongue and just kind of the, the rhythm or the music of your language. Okay, so these neuro neurological pathways are created at a very young age to whatever language you're exposed to. Okay, so you learn to hear very subtle differences within your language. And then maybe later in your life, you have learned American English. Okay, and you have learned the vocabulary, the grammar, all of these things, and you're learning and improving in that way. But there's also this element of the sounds and the rhythm of American English. Now, those pathways haven't fully been developed yet, but that's why you need very deliberate practice to learn the American accent. So that's really what an accent is. And when you can recognize that that's, that's all that an accent is, and there's a specific pathway to improve it, then it becomes much simpler to know, okay, here is what needs to be done. So it's all about the way that you pronounce the sounds of English and the way that you use the rhythm of English. So today I am going to teach you the very first skill I teach all of my students at Pronunciation Pro, and it's the foundation of everything that I train. And we're always coming back to these three easy tips because when you use the three easy tips, it really does clean up about 80% of your pronunciation mistakes. I've been working with students for 14 years now, and I've seen thousands and thousands of, of non-native English speakers come through my program, and this is what we have to build it on. These are the three easy tips. And I'm gonna go kind of backwards uh, this time, and because the last one is really what brings the most power. So the third one, as we're going backwards. The third one is speak louder, okay? A lot of times my students, when they're feeling insecure, they're not quite sure if they're pronouncing something correctly, they start speaking quiet, okay? They speak quietly. And when you speak quietly, there's just a problem there in being able to understand you clearly, okay? So when you're not sure about how to pronounce something, don't start speaking quietly which is a very normal, natural reaction, but you need to keep speaking louder because as you speak louder, even if you make a mistake in English, okay, even if you make a pronunciation mistake, your listener will be able to clearly hear it and will be able to make that correction in their head of like, oh yeah, I think they mean this. So that mistake really isn't that big of a deal, all right? But when you speak quiet, it really makes the mistake even worse because then your listener then has to be like, okay, what did they say? And I, I didn't fully hear that. Should I ask him to say it again? Or, you know, so it creates this, a little bit of like a roadblock in the, in the flow of that conversation. All right, so just speaking louder will eliminate that issue, okay? And then as you continue to improve and per perfect your pronunciation skills, then you'll already have this skill of speaking up and you don't have to then correct that error too. All right, the next tip that I have for you is to move your mouth more, okay? English requires bigger movement in the mouth. But you may be thinking, well, yeah, but I've seen native English speakers and some of them don't move their mouth very much. Well, how easy is it to understand them, okay? I get comments from my students all the time that, you know, it's easy to understand me because I'm moving my mouth a lot. All right, and my kids, it's funny because, you know, as I'm working in my office and my kids might hear me, you know, from the other side of the door, they always say, well, I know when you're in your teaching voice. I know when you're teaching because you speak in a different way, 
okay? And this is kind of code switching, and you probably do it too. Depending on your audience, you can kind of use these skills or not use these skills. So whenever I'm teaching, whenever I'm kind of showing by example how to pronounce words correctly or how to speak more clearly and confidently in English, I am going to be moving my mouth more. I'm going to be speaking louder, right? Because these are the key elements to clear and precise pronunciation. All right, so now let's get down to my favorite tip to quickly improve your spoken English, and that is to slow down, okay? It may seem obvious, it may be something that you've heard over and over again, but I cannot emphasize more the power that slowing down brings to speaking clear American English. It has more power than you realize. And as you try it out, you will discover that power for yourself. If you just slow down, here's what happens. You slow down your spoken English, you're able to stress or emphasize key words, you're able to let your brain really keep up or have plenty of time to be able to form you the words that you want. Maybe you're still translating in your head and you know you need to come up with that right word. Well, when you're speaking slowly, it gives your brain time to really be able to find those right words that you're really looking for. So it gives your mind time, but it also gives your mouth time. Okay, it gives your mouth time to be able to get into the right position. All right, you know more than you think you do when it comes to English pronunciation and being able to speak clearly. And as you slow down, you're allowing your brain to be like, oh, I know how to do this. I know what position to put my mouth in. And I can then have the time to listen to myself while I'm talking instead of speeding through and then your brain is like, I don't even know what I said, but maybe I said it right, maybe I didn't. But what I find is as my students slow down and they're being very intentional about the words that are coming out of their mouth, they're correcting themselves because they know, or you know a lot more than you think you do. So that's why I say, you know, it'll clean up 80% of the errors that you're making because you know what it should be, usually. You know, you usually know what mistakes you're making. So let's go ahead and give your brain time for that. It's really fun to watch my students in the program be able to practice these skills of slowing down, moving their mouths, and speaking up. Because what, what happens is it brings power, it brings confidence, it brings clarity, it is just a music to my ears because I love hearing that foundation there. And as they build on that with the rules of American English and, and really refine and practice it, then it just unlocks so much more for them. They're able to use their voice in a more powerful way and build that confidence to go out and share their voice with the world. And I want the same for you. So practice these tips and I guarantee you'll have way more success in your interactions in English. If you want to dive more into the rules of English pronunciation, go ahead and check out this next video.